Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, today we are be doing a tutorial, um, a requested tutorial of um, how to use the weight and balance, how to basically load the Magnite um, 787-9er. Um, um, so yeah, we'll be demonstrating the Simbrief um, uplink, how to use that. I find that's the easiest way to um, to um, uplink uh, the weight and balance into how to um, how to load it in the first place, um, but we'll also be doing it manually so you don't need a uh, sim brief or anything. Um, but uh, yeah, so hope this is helpful. And as always, if you do have any requests for any tutorials, uh, please do put them uh, in the comments below. Um, hope this is helpful. Um, and if you are looking for a cold and dark tutorial, um, check on the top right um, here um, right now. Um, and I also have done a um, a CDU slash um, FMC uh, tutorial um, in in this aircraft as well. Um, so that's on the top right now. Um, so yeah, I hope this is helpful. Um, we are in the latest version, um, which is getting exciting. So we're in uh, one point seven uh, release candidate uh, for for this aircraft, which is really cool. So they've done lots of updates recently, um, and yeah, you can see um, new textures and um, anything. Anyway, um, so we're gonna. I'm just going to reset the view and we're just going to come down here um so first of all um it would help um if you well you've you've got to obviously make a sim brief uh flight plan um so i've just uh quickly got one up here on sim brief um so you can see here so um we're currently in uh, jfk uh airport um and we're just gonna pretend that we're doing a cross the pond as it were um east eastbound and so um generate Make sure you um you know keep all this um how you want it so it doesn't really matter i put an extra kilogram of fuel and then you just generate the generate the flight plan so you this is crucial you need to do this so the so the sim brief um uplink will work um so you generate the flight plan and then it will come up here i think it looks good yeah and then you press uh print view and see everything's wearing away here. So you um you can see oh well, that, that looks quite complicated. Um and so UBC uh we need to take uh thirty nine point uh four two six uh tons of fuel. So I'm just gonna bring that over here to my second screen. Um so we're gonna come down here um to the EFB. Um if if it's not switching on just press the power button and go menu and then uh go aircraft config. And then, so you can, um, so passengers, we can, so if you look here, um, if you scroll down to, I think this is third, the third page, um, so 341 passengers. So I'm, first of all, we're going to demonstrate it manually. So we're just going to drag it across 341. So if you were to do it, um, I don't, I don't really worry about passengers, but if you were to do it, um, you would uh, put, put, I'd put in the fuel first. So total fuel, um, you come over to this tab and then total, what was it, 39. So you, you literally drag it across and it doesn't really matter how, so we were 39.4, so that's pretty good. And then uh, you just click okay, um, just come back here. And then do you, you just put in each number individually um, and then everything should be well, but I like it's much much easier to use the sim brief uplink uh, loadout So you come over here uh, to set this up All you have to do is make up sim brief account obviously use sim brief. I would highly recommend it um, So you come over here uh, managers manager uh, on the com panel. So you just press com here Yeah, um, and then manager and then a cars and then I'm just going to blur this out uh, in the video because that's, yeah, you don't need to know that information. Um, you, you shouldn't know that information anyway. Um, so this is my sim brief um, username. Um, so you can, don't, yeah, just uh, put yours in there. So just open up a text editor. Um, just type in, type in that username um, and then copy it um, and then just press paste and it'll literally paste it right there. And then um, just press save after that. And then 
and you come back here and then you, all you have to do is just press this button uplink load out it's really really simple and it will do it all for you so that's yeah I, you can tell I hardly ever use these sliders so I would highly highly recommend uh, using the uplink loadout and one key thing uh, with this aircraft do not do not use um, this slider at all just forget about that this is all gibberish um, for for the magnite okay because um, it immediately um, like pulls it out and eliminates what you put in there so do not do not use um, this menu at all. So you just load in, just like in the Zebo. Well, I think some people use still use that for the Zebo. Just come over here down to the EFB and make sure you um, use it down here. So and then you can. So this is all sim brief uplink. So I don't change anything. Uh, sim brief uplink. But if you want it all manually, you can you can you can change all this uh, galley code, um, and the crew, uh, and then the passengers. Um, and then uh, the cargo, etc. And then the overview, um, and then the zero fuel weight. As you can see, everything. I'm just gonna put it um, to the side um, here, and you can see, you can see that everything's all good. So you can see the um, the the takeoff weight um, is the same. So look, you can see uh, twenty um, two hundred and six point uh, six. See there, it's correct. Uh, the fuel, the fueling, um, is ev everything's all correct. Uh, the passengers, we already had a look at that. So three hundred and forty-one. I assure you that uh, this does work. Um, so yeah, just use this one. Um, and then um, yeah, so you can see all the figures match. Um, and the uh, zero fuel weight. Make sure you use it. Um, if you're if you're not worrying about the out loading it just um, make sure you match the zero fuel weight that's the most important thing it doesn't matter how many passengers there are it doesn't matter how, how much cargo there is just make sure you match the zero fuel weight and then all your numbers um, like VREF um, and V speeds will all be um, will be correct and so and then after you t after you press this the uplink loadout so I'm just gonna do it again you just press load aircraft and it's loaded the aircraft see and now we got um, that total fuel there, total fuel like you can see 39.4 and that's what we put in Simbrief. Um, and so yeah, I hope that is um, very simple um, and easy to use. Um, you can see, um, just make sure you use the EFB, do not um, use the use the X-Plane menu. Um, and I'd highly recommend using the Simbrief. Um, Uplink loadout. So if you do have any questions on that, don't forget to um, leave them in the comments below. Um, and that'll be it for this video. Make sure you like the video um, if it was helpful um, and give us a subscribe maybe. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you guys. And if you have any requests, um, much appreciated. Uh, this was the requested tutorial. So um, thank you for watching um, and see you next time for another tutorial. Um, yeah, goodbye.